Shalom, giving all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachah Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutation as always to the elect. And uh, brother just sent us uh, photos of Orthodox Jews seen carrying rifles in Rockland County, New York. Keep that in mind. This is in New York. Strict gun laws, New York. If you get caught with a pistol, you automatically do in time, New York, right? Following a string of anti-Semitic attacks in NYC, including last night's stabbing attack inside a synagogue in um, Monsey, New York, that left five stabbed, one in critical condition. And, you know, I, all you can do is ask yourself, you know, um, what if so-called Negroes took this approach after all of the attacks, you know, the 400 plus years of attacks that have uh, been inflicted on us? You know, what if the so-called um, Native American, you know, walked around with, with, with guns because of having their land stolen? What if the so-called Mexican walked around with a gun? being called illegal on his own land, having to present a card on his own land where he were <laughs> where you stole from him. What if he said he would take up arms because of uh the the past and present and future of their people and what has happened unto them? You know, what if so called Negroes after all of the police shooting them in the ass in the head, in the mouth, <laughs> every goddamn where. What if what if they came together and said, you know what, because of these attacks, we're gonna walk around, okay, with rifles. They would be shot. They would be demonized. But the so called Jew, because of these uh, uh so called attacks, which we believe they're false flags, some of them could be real, but we believe they're uh the, the main ones that they're honing in on are false flags. Because niggas don't leave behind manifestos. Okay, niggas don't have time in their life to write manifestos. Okay, niggas don't even have time to think. Okay, the manifesto is a doing of you Edomites, you so-called white people. And see, what you're trying to do is ultimately link us to your doing. Because your white nationalist, white supremacist groups have went around the planet Earth attacking you know, uh, uh, mass murdering, burning things down, burning churches down. OK, and when you speak on Edomite supremacy, you're dealing with basically the government, the powers that be. OK, the bankers, all of these people are, are, are Edomite supremacists, the people who own the news, who own social media, who own everything, who own Hollywood. Those are the, 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 the true supremacist and racist that the world needs to be worried about. OK, you Edomites are at the very, very end of your kingdom, man. OK, but after all that's happened to, to us, we can't even as much as read a Bible and read you your judgment without you losing your goddamn mind. But you got these so-called Jews, they got classes where they getting axes and self-defense classes. And now they're able to walk around New York, New York City. New York City. Now, what, let's look up the gun laws in New York City. Can you can you openly carry in New York City? Let's see. Let's see. Open carry in New York. Openly carrying a firearm is illegal everywhere in New York. <laughs> city for civilians outside of the city. Open carry is allowed only while hunting or on shooting range. Concealed carry permits holder must keep their weapons concealed. Okay, but open carry in New York is illegal. Showing you the so-called Jew is pretty much... um. It's pretty much above the law. 
Okay, and they're they're getting ready to uh, put forth a lot of unrighteous decrees, man. Okay, and at the end of the day, Babylon the Great is getting ready to be destroyed, man. And you Edomites, your government, your rulers, your police, all of your your forces, it's all wicked. Okay, they're, it's all based um, upon unrighteous and ill-gotten gain, man, and doings. And it's all rooted in witchcraft and Satanism. Uh, let's see here, I don't even know what I'm trying to get. <clears throat> Let me see here. How do you spell buried? Buried. Oh. oh yeah, this is um. And here, this is where we are. You know, at the end of the day, Ecclesiastes eight and nine. All this have I seen and applied my heart unto every work that is done under the sun. There is a time wherein one man ruleth over another. To his own hurt. And that's where we are. You know, this thing that you Edomites love to call justice. And, you know, whenever something happens to you, you're able to put, you know, use your media and your news to demonize every goddamn body. You're able to, you know, play the victim. You're able to, you know, take your stance, you know. And all we're doing is reading your judgment on the highways and the byways, man. But there is a time wherein one man ruleth over another unto his own hurt. And according to prophecy, you Edomites have ruled over the Israelites, man. The so-called Negro, Latino, Native American. Let's just keep it a buck. Let's just be honest. See, the thing is, we could we could be honest with our people. You know, yeah, they're they're uh, drug dealers. They're 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 whores. You know, they're pimps. They're they're you know absolutely everything on the left. Now we understand why they're like that. The scriptures say the righteous are more excellent than their neighbor. But the way of the wickeds uh, seduce at them, following after you. You here it is. You so-called white people complain about niggas, but you created niggas. You so-called white people hate niggas, but that's what you created via when you had them in slavery. When you had us in slavery, what did you have our people do? Fight one another, hate the light, hate the dark, broke up families, instilled negativity into them. You, you brag on owning us. Well, that's your creation. Black culture is white creation okay that it's all uh, uh created and orchestrated by you you stand behind the the curtains orchestrating everything all right and um and 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 our people take it on as a as a culture man okay but this is where we are at the end of the day in prophecy according to prophecy babylon the great that had the israelites in a hardcore captivity that that kingdom is ran by a particular nation of people, man. OK, when you go back to Egypt, Egypt was ran by the Egyptians. OK, when 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 uh, the, when Moses was sent by the Lord to tell Pharaoh to let my people go, you know, Moses's words led to plagues being sent up on a Egypt for what, ha what what for what they did to the Israelites. And I'm talking about the common Egyptian to the rich, higher-up, elite Egyptian was punished, man. See, but the Lord is ultimately punishing your kingdom, your rulership is all in cahoots, and then he's going to come inflict pain upon you. When when Yahawashah returns, it's all fair game. Because, see, your kingdom is of this world. This world, this this age is for you. So you're able to lie and do your thing and rule and, and bomb and do all of this wickedness across the, the planet Earth and not be, uh, uh, in, you know, jailed or, or put at fault for it because this is your kingdom. This is how you were supposed to run your kingdom. You see, but see, when Yahweh returns, that's the true judgment. OK, we can't exude judgment uh, in these bodies or without being sovereign. All we can do is cry unto the Lord and call you out according to the spirit. You see, but we can't truly judge until we get to Jerusalem. OK, so we get once we get Jerusalem, then the law is going to go forth, man. But reading this real quick, it says. Uh, I have all this have I seen and applied my heart into every work that is done under the sun. There is a time wherein one man ruleth over another unto his own hurt. And so I saw the wicked buried who had come and gone from the place of the holy, which is over in the Middle East, you know. Here it is. You have the Arab and the Edomite over there 
fighting over the land and it don't belong to any of them. The true children of Israel will be put back in that land by a miraculous second coming of the Lord, man. Not through a Balfour Declaration. And they wouldn't be getting shot up and, and so-called stabbed and have to create stories of being persecuted when they got back into that land. So at the end of the day, you're not a fulfillment of the, 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 the biblical Israelites. You're not, you're not a true fulfillment of that. We are. We're fulfilling the Valley of Dry Bones. We're fulfilling uh, uh, Revelation, the 11th chapter. We're fulfilling all of Isaiah, called the, the, the blind being brought to a way that they knew not. You're fulfilling the, the deeds of the wicked. You're the Edomite. You see, and you were able to hide behind this whole black white narrative. But that was only for a time, man. Now your enchantments are, are, are failing. So you're going to go to what you know, playing the victim and attacking. You've been doing this. This is what you always do. When you get caught, you just blame everybody else, create some new story, and you go to war. This is what you're going to do. But see, this time, according to the scriptures, okay, when you come <laughs> and you know, and this is how you know this is a movie, because wouldn't, I mean, Esau in times past, he was able to just do whatever the hell he wanted to do. But see, the Lord put the spirit on your dumb ass to let us out of our hardcore captivity and past laws to where we could read and do it. And now the Holy Spirit is upon us. And now you like, damn. But see, you know who we are and you know that you can't just come at us like that. You have to paint some sort of narrative and trick everybody into saying we're carnal and that we're on the attack and, and, and carnality because you're getting cut. Your Christianity is dumb. See, Vocab Malone don't even give a damn about Jesus no more. It was all a front. Jesus, they don't stand, eat white, so-called white supremacist at the end of the day who call themselves Christians do not stand upon the principalities of who they call Jesus Christ. This whole Jesus, love your neighbor, uh, turn the other cheek. They don't stand on that shit. When they see blood, they going to go after your ass, man, and, and, and accuse you. And, and they're going to be vicious and vow, and they're, uh, uh, they want you dead. See, what Esau, all, going all the way back to Cain, <laughs> they just wanted to blast us, man. You know, they want us off the earth, man. It's just in them. This, this war, this hatred, this so-called racism that the world is watching, this is all scriptural, man. And we have the blessing. Romans chapter 20 and 9, and they went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about where the saints. See, if Esau had it his way, he would just come and do what he did as Cain and try to slay Abel and, and slew, slew Abel to cut off the righteous. If he could do that, he would. But why is he being so uh, uh, systematic in how he presents it? Because this is a movie. Enjoy the process of being an Israelite, brothers, and you sisters who watch. Enjoy it. Yeah, it comes with a lot. Yeah, yeah, you got to go through the straight gate. But look what we've been, we, we, hey, why not? This It's written that way. We're vessels chosen to uh, uh, fulfill what is written. Let's do it. Let's get through the bitter part. Let's be hated of the world. Let's be blamed for something we didn't do. We've been, that's been happening all our goddamn life. Now, this is going to be on a whole nother level and it's going to come with a even death for some of us. But at the end of the day, let's just do it, man. Let's just do it. Let's just go through what we got to go through <laughs> and, 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 and the Lord work a miracle. It's going to work a miracle for somebody, even if I die. I, the Lord will work a miracle for some of y'all, man. Who, whoever's uh, ordained to, to receive that victory is going to happen. That's why I say, man, like the elder Ariala say, man. We know this is the end, but if this, and let's say this ain't the end, what legacy are you going to leave behind? A quitter's legacy? You go fold to the opinions of the world and these drunk, uh, uh, shrimp, baboon, thigh-eating niggas and people and, and Edomites of this world, your co-workers. The pe these people live their life like complete monsters, man. Complete demons. They don't know what the hell they believe in. They never stood for nothing, eat anything. And then when, you, when you're put on the forefront for, for the name of the Lord, they're going to be the ones with the opinion. I could not believe. Yeah, he and lying on you. Some of them go come to your defense. But at the end of the day, let's just go through that straight gate to get this kingdom, brothers. Fuck it. Let's do it.
Let's just get through the bitter part and get this reward, man. And they went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about in a beloved city. <laughs> the Israelite come after the elect and fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. So you you devils are getting ready to be destroyed. And the devil that deceived them, he deceived you deceived everybody. You deceived our people. The, the reason you're able to even have this narrative is because you bought out rap music. You've pretty much. Uh, uh, bought and 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 you uh, uh, structured a culture that 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 thrives on negativity and fed it to our people, man. You have pretty much been behind everything that involves black. Okay, see, and we're detaching from that. The NAACP, all of the leaders, everything you set it up. You bought out rap music and created a a, a, a wicked, all right, backwards uh, 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 art. OK, you bought out Hollywood and make our people uh, uh, pay our people billion millions of dollars to be buffoons and niggas and, and transgress the laws dressing like women. You do that. You got the power, you got the gold, you got the money. You you have the ability to make sure that there's a, a, a good image of our people put out there, but you don't do it and you never done it. and You ain't going to do it, man. So to hell with you, to hell with your system. To hell with you, to hell with your lies, to hell with everything that you have to offer, man. We moving on from you devils, man, and we're going on to something better, man. Uh, uh, that's going to lead to everlasting righteousness, the, the, the changing of guards, man. A kingdom, man. Okay? We're, we're not following, we're, we're done with your bullshit, man. Okay, Israel got next, man. It's over for you devils, man.